again, you nutty soccer lovers, you. This is Sunny Day here, ready to bring you another exciting game here at Ekman Acres. Joining me is my esteemed colleague from across the pond, Earl Gray. Why, thank you for the kind words, Sonny. It's a pleasure to be here in the States witnessing this extraordinary event. Going head-to-head -head in today's game are Chicago Fire and the Blue Melonheads. Sonny, I hope your grounds crew takes care to keep the moors out of the soccer fields. Back in England, our moors can dig out a football field in a matter of days. Pesky little creatures. Limber up those vocal cords because this team needs to hear your support. The melon heads kick off. I got this guy. Carries it upfield. Tremendous ball control. Red frees it up. The melon heads gain control. Aggressive play. Chips it ahead. Mikey read that pass beautifully. This away. Slides in. Blue frees it up. Controls it. I got this guy. Goes in aggressively. Red frees it up. Directs it behind the defense. Gets possession. Like Tackled out the ball by Mikey. Mikey pokes it free. Leave this Challenges the keeper. And oh, a no. score! Such wonderful placement on that shot. A thing of beauty. Chicago Fire will restart the game. Tackled off the ball by Keisha. Blue frees it up. Touches it across. Tries to settle it. Then gets a foot on the ball. I got this guy. Dumps it off. Keisha! Slides in. Moves forward. That referee has a good eye. We have a substitution for the Chicago Fire. I got this guy. Dribbles I it up. Mikey pokes it free. Heads up field. Okay. Look here. I got this kid. Red frees it up. Okay, Taps it over. Brings it under control. Mishandles it. He gathers the loose ball. I'm Advances it. Man. Tremendous ball control. <laughs> Heads up play by the defense. Jones gets a piece of the ball. It went off of Chicago Fire. We have a substitution for the Blue Melonheads. The Melonheads will put it back in play. Over here. Directs it behind the defense. Smaller Sends a long ball. And that's the end of the first half. At halftime, the Fire are trailing by a score of 1-0. Maybe all they need is a little halftime pep talk to bring them back to top four. What do you say, folks? Woo! I think they have a legitimate chance to take hold of this match in the second half. They suffered a few defensive lapses in the first half, but I have every confidence that their fine coach will make the necessary adjustments to get them going in the second. Chicago Fire will start the second half. Drop, dude! Red frees it up. Slides in. Here's Jones bringing the ball up. Cranks it. She gets up and heads it away. The fire gained control. Blue frees it up. Heads up play by the defense. Jones gets a piece of the ball. Tries to settle it. Brings it under control. Angela pokes it free. Red frees it up. Okay, advances it. Kid. Fine control there. I'm Red frees it up. Across the goal mouth. He drives it. And a score! 
And with that call, the two teams are now tied. We have a substitution for the Blue Melon Heads. The Melon Heads will restart the game. Goes in aggressively. Aggressive play. Ball over this kid like the chicken box. Ball over this kid like the chicken box. Ball over this kid like the chicken box. I got this. Ahmed pokes it free. I am a lamer. Okay. Keeps the ball in control. Tackled away. McBride kicks it free. I got this guy. Leave this kid to me. Foul on Jones. The referee says the defender played the man, not the ball. We have a substitution for the Chicago Fire. Leave Receives this it. To me. Guy. I got this guy. With the lead pass. With the drop pass, deflects off the crossbar. Bangs! It's gone oh, in! No! Bad oh, luck. No. Hopefully, they can recover from that mishap and play on. Chicago Fire will restart the game. Here comes Brian with the ball. There's the whistle, and this game is history. The fire couldn't cut the mustard today, fans, and have lost with a final score of 2-1. Well, there's an old saying where I come from that sometimes you learn more from losing than from winning. I never really believed it, but if it's true, they learned a lot today.